Go the microphone, the other one. Amen. Let's get this. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. God is good. Are we are we in God's presence? Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. I just love God. Amen. God is good. God is faithful. He is excellent. You see, there is no controversy. Jesus is Lord. In every situation, in every circumstance, is always faithful. Today is the second Sunday in the month of July. And gradually we are entering and we are going into the second half of the year. And I want to tell you that the faithful God who has called you will also do it. And he will perfect all that concerns you in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now there is an announcement. You know, this month we say for our uh, anniversary. And some of you, you are going to be receiving that notification. Our only members, we are going to be having a dinner banquet for only members. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, so you are going to receive the invitation. Is this Saturday coming? This Saturday by 6 p.m. Now, this is one of the uh, events that I want everybody, if you're a member of this church, to attend. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Not to miss at all and at all. Praise the name of the Lord. So I want you to do your best. Amen. Like they will say, your possible best. Praise the name of the Lord. To come and be part of this. And the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. So once you receive the invitation, know that a seat has been reserved for you. Amen. And the venue will be announced as well. Amen. So please make time to make sure that this is the event you want to clear your calendar and participate. It's only for our members. So if you don't show up, praise the name of the Lord. You will have to explain why you didn't come. Amen. God will bless us in Jesus' name. So we have a week or so to find what we can do to move things around. Amen. If you have to apply for uh, excuse from work or anything, please let us do that. Uh, I will truly want to make sure that every member of Destiny Star is part of this. The Lord bless you really, really good in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Lord, we just give you praise for another wonderful uh, uh, time in your presence. Lord, we ask that you show up mightily, that you glorify yourself. The Lord, that your word will come expressly to us today. And your heaven will be open all over our head. And Lord, Father, we shall be blessed beyond our widest dream. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. God is good all the time so we started our series we've been talking this is our month of empowerment and the reason is because uh this month we're believing god that god will empower us not by power or not by our own strength not by our own ability but by his own mighty power to be able to accomplish more than we can ever imagine in this second half of the year and one of the area that we're focusing on in is on spiritual empowerment the foundation for strength the foundation for great things the foundation for the success in your life and that is what we are, are focusing on praise the name of the lord and uh, so i want us to open our bible to the book of luke chapter 10 verse 38 luke chapter 10 verse 38 38 we're going to start reading from 38. Luke chapter 10. We're going to start reading from 38. Now, last Sunday, we talked about be empowered through prayers. Amen. Through prayer. There is no any other way. Amen. Except by the power of prayer. Jesus, the Bible says, as soon as the Holy Spirit came upon him, the Bible says he went into the wilderness and he fasted and prayed for how many days, George? For 40 days. And the Bible says he returned to Galilee in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That is what the prayer can do. Listen to me. If you are not a prayerful Christian, you are a powerless Christian. Jesus couldn't step into ministry. Couldn't do much. Couldn't accomplish everything that God wants him to do until he was endued with the power of God. The Bible says he returned to Galilee 
by the power of God, and people started saying, Wow, what manner of man is this? Is this the son of the carpenter that we know of? Jesus has moved from just ordinary son of the carpenter into the fullness and the expression of God's glory and God's power and God's purpose for his life. Why? Because the power of God has come. And when Jesus was leaving, he told the disciples the same thing. He said, listen, stay in the upper room. Pray until you are deal with the power. And the Bible said when the day of Pentecost came in the book of Acts of the Apostles chapter 2 that the power of God came like a rushing mighty wind upon them. And they started speaking in tongues. Peter that was not bold before to speak before a crowd. Peter was so courageous, bold and spoke the word of God and converted 3,000 people to the kingdom of God. Why? Because the power has come. The disciples and the apostles of Jesus, they were ordinary men, fishermen. But by the power of God, they became extraordinary people. And I declare to you in this season, as we move into towards the second half of this year, may the power of God rest upon your life. May you cease to be ordinary. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen, for the past six months, maybe you have had ordinary results, but something is about to shift in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. So I want us to look into this. So we talk about what prayer can achieve. The Bible says the effectual prayer of a righteous man is powerful and is effective. Amen. If a righteous person pray, the Bible says it's impactful. It is powerful. Amen. That means the prayer can change things. The prayer can move things around. Your prayer can move mountains. Your prayer can change situation and circumstances. A man ought to pray and not to faint. You don't just pray one time. You pray all the time. We stay in the place of prayer. We don't leave the place of prayer. Amen. Even if you are not, you know, you don't have to schedule prayer, but you have to pray all the time. Hallelujah. Pray all the time consistently. Let it be your habit to pray. And when you show up anytime, the glory of God will show up with you. And in this church, we pray every Wednesday, every Friday. Amen. It's a Friday miracle prayer. And it is very important that you are part of this because your life will never remain the same again. In the mighty name of Jesus. So let us see Luke chapter 10, verse 38. Praise the name of God. He said, Now it happened as they went, as they went, that he entered in he entered a village, a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, and who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was distracted with much serving and was approached and she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, let her to help me. Tell her to help me. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha. You know, anytime you, anytime there is a repetition in the Bible, it's, being, it's called for emphasis. It's called for seriousness. It calls for something to pay attention to. She was like, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled. Amen. May God take everybody that is worried and troubled. Uh, you know, take trouble and worry out of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, so you are worried and troubled about many things. He said, but one thing is needed. Everybody say, one thing is needed. And Mary has chosen that good path, which will not be taken away from her. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Well, I'm still not enjoying this microphone. Can I try that one? Let me see. I don't know what's going on with Praise the Lord. Okay, this sounds a little bit better. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm sorry. I like 
to hear myself certain way. Amen. God is good. And all the time. So, we want to talk today about be empowered through the word of God. Through what? The word of God. Now, as we focus on being empowered spiritually, most of us don't know that what is most important in our lives is not all the money we have. Amen? It is not the hierarchy that we attain in our business or our career. It is not the popularity we get. Amen? Even though money is good, career success is good, we teach about it, we talk about it all the time. But what is very important, more than all that, is our relationship with God, our spiritual capacity with God. That is the most important part of our life. How much, how much are we into the things of God? How much is our spiritual, you know, capacity with God? A matter here, Jesus came and somebody who is sensitive to what is so important, what is so needed, what is the most priority, took to it and said, Lord, the word of God. And she sat at the feet of Jesus. That is Mary. And learn from the word of God. The Bible says she sat there to hear the word of God. To be imparted by the word of God. And the Bible said that Mary, Martha was like, you know, please tell him to tell her to come help me. Because she herself was distracted. Many a time we get distracted from the most important things in our lives. And that's our spiritual life. And I will tell you in this world that we live today, there's so many things that can distract you. Oh my God, microphone. I just need help with this microphone. Minister Paul, can you Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, let's use this. Amen. It's loud, but it's fine. Praise the Lord. God is good. Everybody here this morning, Father, we just thank you one more time. So let us go in here. Now the Bible says, Martha was distracted. Was distracted. Many a times there's so many things that distract us from the most important thing in our lives. Amen. In fact, there are so many. There are so many that if you are not disciplined, if you are not intentional, if you are not deliberate as a person, you will be you you will be sidetracked you will be you will be out of the path that will lead you to to greatness and to achieving god's purpose and destiny for your life there are a lot of them and that is why you have to be de- intentional in the world that we live in today because there's so many distractions that we tell you no 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 in fact distraction that we tell you why do you have to even go to church stay at home you can stay at home and just pray and god will answer your prayers that distraction that we tell you, hey, stay stick to that movie because wow, that movie is good. And these are the movies that doesn't add any value to your life, that doesn't contribute any spiritual value to you increasing and building relationship with God. Amen. You get distracted. You can get distracted with just little, little penny thing that, you know, everything, in fact, the church service will have been over before you remember, oh, you know, I can't go to church today. The reason is because you get distracted. You can get distracted with so many things that all through the day, all through the week, you didn't open your Bible except in the church today. Praise the name of the Lord. And these are the things that are very important to your life, to your greatness, to your family, to your, to your relationship with God. Listen to me. When it comes to a man, the Bible says we are three parts. Spirit, source, and what? And body. Why did God start with spirit? Because as a person, you are a spirit. And most of the time we feed. And which is what Martha was doing. Maybe she was cooking. She was running at her around. A visitor has come. But Mary decided to stay at the feet of Jesus. And learn the word of God. The word of life. That is able to change, transform. And lift you up and deliver to you. An inheritance among the saints. That's what the Bible says. She stood there and listened with the word of God. But the other person was distracted. 
May you never be distracted out of your destiny. May you never be distracted out of God's blessing. Out of